Madalena Bokan is going to speak to us. Madalena is the executive director of the Ratsu Center for Democracy, which is a Romanian registered foundation based in Turda. Good evening. Great to, great to be here. I was actually, while uh, Ioana was speaking, I was thinking that with the trustee and the board member here, you can only imagine how many times am I using the quote from Ioan Ratsu in a board meeting, but uh, we won't go there. We will speak, uh, we will speak tonight about uh, what we are doing in order to focus <coughs> our activities. As uh, Ioana was mentioning earlier on, at the, at the beginning, the center, which is based in Turda, but works uh, nationally and in some, in some ways, in, uh, in some projects internationally, was uh, doing a lot of, had several, uh, quite a long number of projects that were trying to address as many challenges in Romania as there were, and God knows there were quite a lot. But during the years, uh, we have uh, somehow um, tried to focus our, um, our interest in, as uh, Ioana was mentioning, into fulfilling our mission of promoting values and behaviors um, associated with democracy. But before going to that, I think I would like to speak a bit, uh, following on, uh, on Ioana's opening, about uh, what I consider to be one of the biggest um, assets, if you allow me, of, of the center, which is the strength of our, uh, of our partnerships, be them nationally or uh, internationally. And obviously, speaking of, of assets, we were fortunate enough to be able to build on the experience and the legacy of, uh, of Jon Ratio and his intense activity in London and also in the United States. Hence, the Jon Ratio Dem Democracy Award that gave us the, the chance to actually work with organizations of the ORDs throughout the world, be it Saad Edin Ibrahim in Egypt, be it Anatoly Mikhailov in Belarus, be it uh, um, uh, Aung San Suu Kyi recently in Myanmar, or uh, Ole Kozlovsky in Russia. So during the years, we were trying to build on the exposure and visibility of the Young Right to Democracy Award in, in Washington in order to find like-minded organizations throughout the world that would promote the same, the same goals as ours. And then, obviously, with the asset comes the burden. Many of the, many of the so to say, of the of, the, leg of the, the parts of the legacy that were um, brought to Romania by Ioan Ratio also need a bit of uh, reassessment, and that kind of reassessment took place in us trying to promote in Romania one of why, what I would say would be Ioan Ratio's biggest uh, achievement, which is the Romanian chair uh, in at George, the, Ioan, the, the Ratio chair of Romanian studied in, studies in, at Georgetown University, which is still the single uh, uh, Romanian studies chair in the, at the high level American university. So um, at this point we were again um, having the fortune to work with uh, international academy, recognized academia such as Dennis Delatant which is now holding the position of the Ratio Chair at Georgetown before the position was held by Charles King which became in time one of the leading uh, one of the leading professors in Eastern European and now uh, Caucasian studies in the U.S. Another, um, another way in which we look at international partnership is our interest to join alliances that again promote the same causes and the same fights that we are fighting here in Romania or more and more in, uh, in the region. And such an example is, for example, uh, su such an example is Open Parliament, which is a network that is promoting free data on parliamentarians throughout the world. We are also part of open government initiatives because we consider that government documents and government money and government decisions should be as possible as fast uh, available made, uh, made available to the citizens obviously the citizens need to be to do their part of the job and stay engaged in what it is a new social contract then another kind of uh, partnerships that we are quite proud of are those that are um, 
uh, based on uh, on the the, the direct the, the projects and we are working on and I put over there two of uh, our most recent ones that are working in a field uh, very important for Romania which is combating uh, human trafficking as you all know Romania still is a source country for trafficking either for prostitution or begging or uh, forced labor in the European Union. So we work with organizations that are mostly into countries that are having a high number of Romanian citizens and we consider that it is important to have partners on the ground in the not-for-profit sector that have a, have, have a high reputation both in uh, the <coughs> grassroots work but also in terms of establishing policies. Such, a, such, is an, on a, uh, such an organization is, as I said, the Hera Foundation of London, UK. Obviously, we are more and more into promoting national alliances. Many of you come from the NGO sector and know that the Romanian NGO sector sometimes finds it challenging to get many organizations uh, to work together for a common goal. So uh, we consider that uh, by either joining or becoming uh, a part of a consultative body of the existing alliances and federations, we would be in time more <coughs> able to first of all get our message across and second of all be more substantial in, in our content. One of the, one of our, obviously one of our biggest uh, uh, challenges is what again staying uh, focused on what we are doing and second obviously finding ways into supporting our many ideas because we have many ideas but sometimes we find it challenging to, to support all of them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so what we've done uh, we <coughs> We try to somehow separate our grassroots uh, activities that are taking place in, in, in the local community. Why is that? Because the foundation assumed more and more a more critical political but non-partisan position that made it almost impossible to have a dialogue with public authorities. So in, uh, in, uh, as part of, of this uh, conundrum, we realized that actually by withdrawing from the, from the grassroots activities that should be uh, supported by both communities and local authority, we would give uh, greater chances for such, uh, for such activities to, to actually grow in the, in the community. Also because we believe that the foundation sometimes has a, how should I say it, ha uh, I don't know, a supernova effect because as we are in a, based in a local, in a small community, sometimes the community is throwing to us most of its problems, initiatives, or challenges, and they are I say, "But you are a foundation. You are a big foundation. You fix it." So we are we trying to you know <laughs> to encourage people to fix uh, many of the things themselves. Hence the our initiatives to create to 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 create uh, the youth center. We are calling it the free time factory because it's based in one of the most beautiful buildings in Transylvania, I would dare say, out of uh, about which Pamela is going to to talk uh, more later because there is a whole thing going on there. And we are also, again, very interested in tying up our existing projects so that they make as possible and as much, uh, as much content as, uh, as, uh, as available. Uh, probably some of you know that we launched actually in partnership with one uh, Bucharest organization, CERE, Centro de Resurse Pentru Participare Publică, Cinecea Promise, a platform that is monitoring the promises the mayors made during the electoral campaigns. Oh and my oh my god! <laughs> uh, yes, and now we are in the lucky, how to say, in, in that part of our existence when we discovered that they are already in a, in a, in office for one year. So we started to ask them, what were you doing one year? Uh, most of them send us a lot of uh, EU funded projects, like tons of uh, materials. They said, look, we are very busy with EU funding, we are, don't have time for anything else. 
They are not so willing to discuss about topics as integrity and uh, conflict of interest. Everybody is under the EU funding, in, under, in a EU funding more than they presume somehow that if they get two or three infrastructure projects in their community, then there, you know, there are going to be a lot of milk and honey on the, in, uh, on the streets. Uh, the same things that we do with Chine Cha Promis, we are now trying to slowly implement at a younger age, because you know, once you are a Democrat, you better start early. Uh, and we are working in high schools. And what we are doing in high schools, we are encouraging students to check on what are their administration, administrative councils and school boards doing and chase their local councillors that are appointed in the local school boards. And of course there are a lot of you know, great surprises. We have local councillors that are appointed in uh, several board schools but attend none and so on. So we have, you know, we are encouraging students to be aware of their representatives and what their local councillors should be doing. In order to do all this, Obviously, we have um, quite a challenge, and as, uh, as Ioana was saying, um, CERD was funded heavily, substantially, by the Ratio Family Charitable Foundation. In 2006, 92% of our funded came, funding came from the Ratio Family Charitable Foundation. During the years, it decreased slowly. Obviously, sometimes not as not as <laughs> as good as our <laughs> board from London would have liked, but sometimes you know we are we are grateful that they were quite understanding to to our efforts. Uh, at this point, as most of the organizations, uh, we are very interested in having a diverse, uh, a diverse, uh, more diversity in in, in terms of uh, in terms of resources, and we apply for grants international grants, but we do not apply for public money, I mean for, uh, for money of local authorities or of the Romanian, local go uh, of Romanian government, because we are still not convinced uh, that uh, there is not too much of a price for, for the funds that are issued by the local authorities. Um, so application to international donors, and also in terms of um, in terms of uh, in terms of grants, uh, we have uh, we were chasing also private don donations, benefiting from the from the network of the several ratio entities, but also benefiting from our own resource, our own uh, you know. Um, attempts to listen more to our, uh, to our public and we have been uh, quite uh, patient in developing listening tools, especially online. We are very aware and try to see how many minutes you are spending reading our newsletters and what did you click in order to understand what are your interests in them sometimes chase you back and ask you for money. Uh, we had uh, several online campaigns, the most successful being the, the one that was uh, featured on Global Giving because uh, although we did not raise a huge amount of money, that money was made with little investment. It was basically a cold call to international donors that were uh, registered mostly in the US because Global Giving does allow the U.S. citizen to have the tax, uh, <coughs> tax deductions. Other kinds of resources that we are using are obviously the ones, so to say, in our own backyard. And uh, my team is able to, to act as, um, as trainers or facilitators to third parties. And obviously we have the great... Uh, the great advantage of being able to use the properties of the foundation, of the London Foundation in, uh, in Turda in order to organize events that are uh, bringing revenue and uh, <coughs> also conferences or even sometimes offer accommodation either to third party events or sometimes extremely useful part of our in-kind contribution to all sorts of uh, 
to several grants, uh, grants application. We, we aim, as I said, at, at, being, uh, at becoming in time autonomous, not only that we want to depend less and less, by, uh, uh, less and less to, to the Right to Family Foundation, but what we want in time is to be able to build our own strategy in, uh, in uh, supporting communities and other organizations, and actually act as a foundation per se, which at this point, uh, to be honest with you, we are not doing as we should do because uh, we mostly implement projects rather than support others to, to do so. So I think that would be, uh, that would be pretty much it. Um, I think Pamela is going to talk more about how we are actually planning on becoming more autonomous and it's not in no way connected to Transylvania, it's only about sources. So. Just something that I forgot to say, we are not paid. Okay, and we work with a lot of volunteers. Yes, mm -hmm. and we this do. is a, a great gift. And Pamela will speak to you about more about the courses for volunteers. We work with volunteers. We work with interns. I think you've had an intern here. I, for eight I months. <laughs> okay. Um, 